Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon. We are back with another video. Today, I'm breaking down my top five favorite subnets at this moment in time, November 2025. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below. Hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and don't forget to grab your completely free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin. It is linked in the description for you. Grab that below and let's jump straight into it. Okay, kicking off the list straight away, guys, I am going with BitCast as one of my top and favorite subnets. A lot of you know I've been mining on BitCast for the past number of months. BitCast is a protocol that connects brands with influencers. It is the next level of marketing happening with the BitTensor incentive mechanism using artificial intelligence. Essentially, what BitCast are doing is they are connecting brands who want attention with creators who have attention and making that entire process extremely efficient, extremely uh, useful for brands to get access to creators that already have hundreds of thousands of collective followers and getting in front of the right people, okay? BitCast is currently sitting at 0.0176 tau per alpha token. That is about $8.61. Amazing that you can see the price action happening here on the chart. We're up over 500% since these lows back in June, and BitCast has, had been, has, had, has been on a phenomenal run over the past few months. BitCast has also managed to climb the ranks here, currently garnering about 1.62% of all the emissions on the Tau ecosystem at this moment in time. Miners getting paid out about 47.93 Tau every single day, and the miners are the creators on this particular subnet. So if you're a creator that has a YouTube channel that has the ability to connect and get in front of an audience, then you can be a miner over on BitCast. Check it out. Use the link in the description. Again, very lucrative opportunity here. You can be earning over and up to 100% APY from simply holding and staking the subnet alpha token for BitCast. Let's break that down very, very quickly. Jumping back over to subnets, searching for BitCast, you can be getting 134% APY from simply holding and having exposure to that subnet alpha token. BitCast is one of my top and favorite subnets. Check it out for yourself, guys. Next up on my list, I have Hippias. Hippias is a bit of a beast here in the subnet arena. We can see Hippias is currently priced at 0 0.0176 Tau, a little bit pretty much actually the exact same price as BitCast at this particular moment in time. And Hippias has had a pretty nice run up in price here since these lows back in September as well. On a percentage basis, if we measure that very, very quickly and very, very crudely here, you know, we're up over 127% in the past 50 days. And if we jump over and check out the Hippias website, for those of you that are not already familiar, Hippias is a transparent and decentralized cloud storage solution. Okay, think about Dropbox, think about Google Cloud Services, think about AWS. Hippias is a competitor to those other cloud storage solutions, but it can do it in a much more cost-effective manner. Okay, looking at the pricing here, you can be storing 100 gigabytes of data for a price of 30 cents per month. That is a phenomenal cost saving compared to many of the other products in this space, i.e. the centralized products like Dropbox, like Google Cloud, and many, many others. You can check out hippias.com to understand the storage solutions that are available for Hippias. My understanding is that it is extremely elastic. You're only paying for what you use. And you are also getting the benefit of much, much cheaper storage solutions compared to centralized cloud computing protocols. Okay, looking at the costs here, you can see it broken down. They used to have a nice comparative here. Here it is actually on my screen. So you can see that the cost for storing one terabyte worth of data on a monthly basis for Hippias is about $3 per month. That's all you're going to be paying. On storage, it's over $700. On Google Cloud, you're looking at $8,200. And then this is the egress amount. I'm not sure what that egress actually refers to specifically, but let's just say we have one terabyte, one terabyte. You're still looking at a cost saving of, you know, 30x here compared to Amazon or Google Cloud. So a phenomenal cost saving, I think a very big use case for the entire storage industry. And if Hippias can actually get it right, if they can get cloud storage in a decentralized manner working um, 
with mass adoption, I think this is going to be a beast of a subnet. Okay, next on my list is Resi. Resi is another very interesting subnet doing exciting things as the property or real estate oracle for the entire world. They're starting off with the US market. If I zoom out to a daily chart here, we're looking at price action being at right around this point, double zero seven three um, tau per subnet alpha token, which prices it in dollar terms at about $3.60. You can see Resi is currently earning about 0.72% of the entire tau um, rewards at this moment in time. Jumping over here to check out Resi, and their subnet alpha token staking potential, you're getting just under 100% APY for holding and staking the Resi subnet alpha token. And if we open up Resi Labs, dot AI, you're going to see lots of exciting stuff happening here. They are trying to be the real estate oracle as BitTensor subnet number 46. What does that mean? Well, real estate is dying for innovation, but gatekeepers limit innovation. It's very difficult to actually have tradable, useful data about real estate on chain. And Resi want to be that bridge, bringing provable open source intelligence about pricing real estate on chain, and then making that available for other businesses to tap into. Again, they did a hard fork, sorry, a fork of subnet number 13 data universe, and now they're beginning to harness the power of all the miners contributing AI models for pricing data on US properties to build up that initial database, and then they'll be able to spread it global from there. But very exciting stuff happening on Resi. You can check out the incentive flywheel here, check out the product, the treasury, the data, the user, all the different stakeholders in that flywheel, Lots of exciting stuff happening on Resi, and I urge you to check it out for yourself. Subnet number four that I'm highlighting here in this video is going to be Synth Data Co. Okay, Synth Data Co. are doing some very exciting stuff here. Synth is subnet number 50 in the BitTensor ecosystem. They're currently earning 1.54% of the emissions on a daily basis with over 45 tau getting paid out to miners every single day. If I jump over to the Synth website very, very quickly, Synth is essentially um, creating predictive intelligence with all the miners on this subnet being data scientists who are generating um, models and predictive models for four different assets at this moment in time. They've paid out over $2.1 million. Now it's up to $2.38 million in rewards to miners since February of this year. And like I said earlier, $23,700 getting paid out to miners every single day on since subnet. And so anyone can become a miner. That's the beauty of all of these subnets that I'm highlighting highlighting in today's video. If you have the skills, you can become a miner on any of these subnets and earn these daily rewards. Okay, but coming back to Synth more specifically, the way that it operates is basically that miners are contributing data sets and creating predictive models for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Gold, and Solana. And then purchasers of those data sets are able to use the data from those data scientists to create their own positions for trading those assets and ultimately being profitable. Now, I'm still curious is to see how much we're going to be able to tap into this as retail investors, if the cost uh, is going to be prohibitive or if it will actually be pretty useful. But Synth have been running their own tests over on Polymarket and they have been wildly profitable using the actual data being created by data miners here on the Synth subnet. And so I urge you to check that out for yourself as well. If we jump over to Tau Yield and we take a look at Synth subnet alpha token, you're currently getting about 57% APY for holding and having exposure to the subnet alpha token for Synth. And with the profitability statistics that I saw from the tests that they are running over on Polymarket, I think this subnet has a very bright future. Last, but definitely not least on this list, I have to highlight Ridges as one of my favorite subnets. Again, let me close out the other tabs here just to make some space for what I'm about to talk about because Ridges has quickly become one of the most popular subnets in the entire Tau ecosystem. You're looking at a price per Ridges right now of 0.0659 Tau per subnet alpha token. Look at this beautiful trajectory Ridges has been on since early summer, since May. It has done phenomenal returns. If I just measure this on a percentage basis, we can see even since the end of April, we are up over 4,900% 
in the token price for the Ridges subnet alpha token. If you're not familiar with Ridges, guys, check out their website. I'm going to bring it up here as well. Ridges.ai. Ridges is essentially creating incentivized agentic training models where anyone can contribute code and use it to enhance their um, subnet. But what it's essentially doing is allowing developers to use their coding agents to create products and services with code. Again, think about Claude Anthropic, think about Cursor. Those are the centralized competitors to Ridges, and Ridges is actually dropping a product here in the next couple of weeks that is eventually going to become a competitor to Claude Code and Cursor. And the, the scores that this model has been getting on the SUI benchmark and many other different coding benchmarks has been phenomenal. It has surpassed Claude on many of those benchmarks over the past few months. And that is why the price of this alpha token has been ripping to the upside over the past few months since early summer. Yes, we're in a consolidation period right now, but if you're a TA analyst, you know this is a really nice bull flag forming. And I think we're gonna see this price moving up in tau terms over the coming months. Ridges has become one of the top subnets in the entire subnet ecosystem. It's earning 6.4% of the daily tau emissions, 189 tau being paid out every single day to the miners on the Ridges subnet. If I go back to the subnet list overall here, we can see that Ridges is now the second largest subnet in the entire BitTensor ecosystem, second only to Shoots, who has been pretty much the king since inception. But big stuff happening on Ridges, big products coming soon. And I think it's a subnet that could actually be the one to actually get mass adoption here and give subnets in general a little bit of a breakthrough in the entire AI arena. Okay, I do want to give a shout out to two additional subnets that I think are doing very interesting things. A quick shout out to Sports Tensor. Again, lots of stuff happening in prediction markets. Sports Tensor has been moving up and to the right very, very sharply here over the past few weeks. Lots of exciting stuff happening with Sports Tensor and partnerships with Polymarket. So check that out if you're interested in everything happening in the prediction markets arena. And then Cartha, which is subnet number 35, they are creating 0x markets, which is going to be a perp trading dex on the BitTensor ecosystem. Again, the product has not been launched. The team is working on it. I interviewed the guys a few weeks ago on the channel, so make sure to go and check that out. I have to give them an honorable mention because our product is not live yet. This might become one of my favorite subnets once the product is live because you can provide liquidity as an LP and earn and mine this subnet once it launches. So I'm eagerly anticipating and watching what's going to happen here with Cartha and 0x Markets perp dex over the coming weeks. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that deep dive into my top five favorite subnets here in November of 2025. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button below if you got any value out of this video right under my finger. Take three seconds right now, smash that thumbs up button. It would mean the world to me. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, grab your free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin. It is in the description below this video. Grab it now and we'll catch you in the next one.